Today we're going to take a look at the bridge analyzer's tri-gas calibration. We're going to calibrate using a gas mix of 30% CO2, 0.4% CO, and balanced nitrogen, which would give us 0% oxygen. So when you go to calibrate, you want to turn the analyzer on. You'll see all eights and then dashes. And then when I press the zero button, you hold it until it blinks between dashes and blank. And it'll run a zero process where it's drawing gas through one port, not the needle, but the zero port. And it's exhausting out. It's actually drawing it in here, exhausting it out this exhaust here. When you calibrate, you want to have the analyzer turned on for at least 30 minutes. We're not doing that in this video, but you will want to do that so that it has a chance to equalize its temperature internally. So when you first, uh, when you turn it on and then zero, it'll be running in a continuous mode. So the pump is running all the time and now I'm drawing from the needle here. I can <clears throat> turn on the calibration gas. So I have a calibration stand here. I'll turn on my gas and you want to be at essentially 400 cc's a minute. I have the gas coming through here and I have a T for the overflow. So now the analyzer, when I plug it in and attach it, so I have the needle attached to the gas line, it'll, the, the analyzer will draw as much as it needs and then the excess will go as an overflow to waste. In our office, we have an exhaust vent, so we're drawing the excess out of the room. And here again, the analyzer is just pulling only the gas that it needs. So what you'll see are the readings getting stabilized. And again, you'd want to have this analyzer on long enough to make sure that you have stable results and stable temperature internally. Once we have stable oxygen and CO2, we can go into calibrate mode. And right now I see the oxygen sensor is still getting sensitized to very low oxygen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this analyzer run for a little bit on gas, and then we'll pick up the calibration at that point. Okay, so we've given the, given the analyzer a little bit of time to stabilize. We actually hit our five minute zero, and so we re-zeroed. And so now our numbers look uh, pretty stable, and if you have a thermally stable analyzer, you can go into the calibration mode. And first of all, you have to be in the continuous run mode. That's a common mistake people make, is that if they're in the test and hold mode, uh, the analyzer will not go into calibration mode. So to go into continuous run mode, you have to hit the up arrow if you're not in it already. So in this case, because the numbers are changing, I know we're in continuous mode. So I can hit the cal and zero. And I hold the two buttons down until I see the word cal and cal here. And this tells me now that I'm calibrating for carbon monoxide. On this analyzer, it's best to calibrate the CO2 first. So what I did is I pressed the cal button. And so now the number that's being displayed is the one that is getting adjusted. So I'm gonna adjust this up. And I just hit the up arrow and you can see my numbers are going up. So I'm adjusting the bias here. So I'm gonna adjust the bias to my, what my actual calibration gas is, which is 30.0. So I just hold down the arrow button until I get to pretty close to the number and then I can go very uh, quietly to 39. So now I'll hit a few times and that's pretty close right there. So then I'm gonna 
take that as my reading. I'll hit the cow button. Now this also is a con point of confusion for some customers. It's right now looking to calibrate in the high gain for oxygen. Now this is only available if you're at over 2% oxygen. If you're less than 2% oxygen, you are not allowed to change the high gain. And it'll indicate that to you by blinking. So we're gonna ignore that. We'll press Cal one more time. And now it's saying calibrate low gain, which is oxygen less than 2%. So here I can, I can lower the number. I know I'm actually at zero, but over time this will tend to trend further and further uh, down towards zero. So I'm gonna leave it at about 0.015 because uh, I know this is a sensor that's been uh, calibrated before, so I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, we'll get to the number we need. So I'm gonna do that. If you need to go increase it or decrease it, you use the yellow arrow keys. So now I'll go back to my carbon monoxide for CO, that's 0.4, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it here. Double check my CO2. That should be good there. Now when I'm finished, I hit the Cal and zero until it displays the numbers. So now I'm reading properly. I'm still in continuous run mode and I've got 0.4 CO, very close to 30% CO2, and essentially zero on the oxygen. So now I've calibrated. I can hit the test button to go back into the discrete test mode and here You'll see it blinking between displayed numbers and blank. And when it blinks like that, we know it's performing a test. And then when it finishes, it'll freeze the display and stop the pump. So now you can go in to your production area and go ahead and start testing. We do recommend you take a little bit of time when you go from continuous test mode to discrete test mode, the temperatures internally need a little bit of time to equalize. And so it's best if you go into production here, you'll want to zero that analyzer again, uh, probably within 10 or 15 minutes to ensure that uh, the analyzer takes into account any temperature change. And that's how you calibrate the Trigas case-ready meat analyzer from Bridge Analyzers. Thank you.